Welcome everyone to Vested Interest. This is Shane with a video on six stocks to watch as we head into January 2022. It is Sunday, January 2nd. And if you caught my last video, I talked about my goals for 2022. And one of those goals was to pick up uh, or increase the yield of the portfolio. And to do that, we want to find uh, stocks that are fairly valued or undervalued with higher yield. So in this video, we're going to take a look at six stocks for January that fit that criteria. So let's get right to it. First up on the list is Omega Healthcare Investors, ticker OHI. And let's click on that. As you can see, currently it's $29 and 59 cents. If we take a look at the information here provided, this is actually, you can find this information on Yahoo Finance. But if you look here at the 52 week range, you'll see it's a low of $27.06 with a high of $39.31. And it, currently at $29.59, it's much closer to that 52 week low. And as you can see over the last six months, it has steadily declined. Here you can see it has a, four, or a PE ratio of 15.66. It has a forward dividend yield of 2.68, so $2.68 for the year per share. And then here, as we talked about, we're looking to increase the dividend yield. So the dividend yield is 9.016. This is a really high dividend yield. And then the last bit of information I would bring your attention to, the one-year target estimate that they have on it is $34.57. So that would indicate to me that they expect some upside on this stock since it's currently at $29.59. And again, guys, that is Omega Healthcare Investors, ticker OHI. Next up on the list is Enterprise Product Partners, ticker EPD. As you can see here, it's $21.96 per share currently. Again, we'll look at the 52-week range. $19.28 for the low, or $25.69 for the high. So this actually is about mid-range between that 52-week low and that 52-week high. We'll look over here again. The P-E ratio is 12.28. And your forward dividend is $1.80 for the year. And again, another high-yielding at 8.20 that is enterprise product partners ticker epd and here we'll look guys again as you can see it's it's been up and down over the last six months but really if you look at where it would have started and where it ended there's been a couple of times where it was probably towards that 52 week high and then down here towards this 52 week low or mid-range probably could have got it here a couple weeks back i think it was on my watch list for november or december as well this is one that's been uh been on my watch list for a while and we have picked up shares uh, over the last couple months of this again 8.2 percent yield definitely a higher yield than stock next up verizon communications ticker vz currently 51 dollars and 96 cents per share this one is another one that's been declining over the last six months. It's been uh, low. You've obviously could have got it lower in a couple points here, but at 51.96, look here at the 52 week range. 49.69 was the low over the last 52 weeks. 59.85 was the high. Again, guys, at 51.96, this is closer to that $49.69 low than it is compared to the 52 week high. P.E. ratio is low, 9.77. That's extremely low. Single digits, anything in the single digits, in my opinion, is extremely low. It has a forward dividend yield of 2.56, $2.56 for the next year. That's broken up into four you know, quarterly payments. All these are broken up into four quarterly payments, except for some of them in the material sector. And this is in the communication sector, guys. Uh, EPD was uh, in the uh, gas and oil uh, energy sector, I believe, or it might even be utilities. And then uh, OHI is, is a REIT. And then this Verizon Communications, just like it says, is in the communications sector. 
And again, another high yielder, not quite at the 5% above like the other two, but at 4.9%, still very high yielding. I don't mind putting my work, my money to work uh, for 4.9% return plus whatever appreciation. And then the one year target estimated date, uh, estimated price target is $60.23. Again, they, they are looking at some upside for Verizon Communications based on their projection of $60.23. Next up, Lion Basso Industries, ticker LYB. This is another one that we've been adding to steadily, you know, a couple shares here and there over the last several weeks. It's another one I still feel is very well valued, undervalued in my opinion, $92.23 currently. It's 52 week range, a 52 week low of 8406. A 52 week high of $118.02. And again, we were picking this up, I think, a few weeks back at about $88 per share. So it has gone up a little bit from there, but still definitely closer to that 52 week low compared to the 52 week high. PE ratio, another one that is extremely low PE ratio, single digits, 5.39 PE, has a four dividend yield of $4.52 per share, so it's going to pay out $4.52 per share quarterly. We'll just divide that 452 by 4. And then the yield, the dividend yield is 4.90, real close to, actually identical to Verizon's yield of 4.9. Again, not over our target of 5%, very close to it, and I do not mind putting my capital to work, buying Lyondo Basel Industries, ticker LYB. Next up, and uh, Lionel Bassos is out of the material. Actually, the le these last three are going to be out of the material sector. Uh, Sabani Stillwater Limited, ticker SBSW, currently $12.54 per share. In its 52-week range, a, a low of $11.15, a high of $20.68, and again, much closer to that 52-week low at $12.54 currently than it is to the 52-week high of 20 dollars and 68 cents PE ratio extremely low even low I think this might be the lowest one we have here at 3.23 so you're almost paying uh, price per earnings three dollars per every dollar of earnings I mean you're getting down to a one to one uh, one to one per, per earnings so every almost every dollar you pay is, is returning a, a dollar but it's a three to one currently so uh, your forward dividend payment is a dollar 67 per share and the dividend yield, this is this is what we're looking for here, these higher dividend yielders, guys, at 13.35% dividend yield, Sabani Stillwater, ticker SBSW, and one-year target estimate at $19.24 tells me that they predict some upside in the share price as well. So you would, if, if they're correct, you would get that appreciation the higher yield plus the dollar 67 per share. I believe Sabini Stillwater pays annually though, so it is a once or, or even semi-annually possibly. I'd have to look back at that. Uh, they do not pay quarterly, I do not believe. And this one would, so you get the payment, unlike the other ones, it would be uh, just once or twice a year if they're semi-annually. Sometimes the this is a mining company out of the material sector as well. Sometimes these companies pay special dividends as well, but 13.35% cheap. $12.54, if you had a couple hundred dollars, wouldn't be a bad place to park it. Next up, another one on the material sector. So these last three, uh, Lion Do Basel, Sabani Stillwater, and Vale, all out of the material sector, may be uh, uh, telling you something that the material sector may be a sector you want to look at right now for undervalued stocks. Uh, vale, ticker V-A-L-E, currently $14.02, 52-week range. $11.16 was the low. The high was $23.18 over the last 52 weeks at $14.02. It is still closer to that $11.16 low than it is the $23.18 high. Another extremely low PE ratio, 4.25 for dividend payment of $2.70 per share and a great yield of 19 0.20. That is a high yield. I believe this is the highest yielder that we've got on the list today. Vale, ticker V-A-L-E. And like all the rest of them, this has come down over the last six months from its high. So why we're, uh, why we're 
putting it on our watch list for January, we do want to pick up value where we can pick up value as well as pick up yield where we can pick up yield. And the one year target estimate of $18.05 here tells me that they also believe that this will appreciate over the next uh, year in share price. So again, you'd get that appreciation in the $4 in appreciation in share price plus the 19% yield and an extremely low PE. This one is one I'll probably be adding the next time we make a round of purchases. And as always, guys, I am not a financial advisor. Nothing in this presentation should be considered financial advice. I am only sharing my opinion and investing journey for educational and entertainment purposes. Investing involves risk. You can lose money and should never invest any amount you are not comfortable losing. Always do your own research and invest based on your situation, circumstances, and selected criteria, or seek the advice and counsel of a certified financial advisor. Guys, if you take a t the moment to uh, hit that thumbs up button or thumbs down if you didn't like the video, let me know what you are looking at to start off January. What's on your watch list? What are you investing in? Are you looking for higher yield? Or are you uh, looking for lower yield with more growth or looking for a combination of both? All are great. Let me know in the comment section below what you're doing. And again, hit that subscribe button. Ring the notification bell so that you get notified whenever new videos are posted. As always, guys, I appreciate you stopping by. I appreciate your comments. I appreciate you subscribing to the channel. And again, Happy New Year 2022. Let's get this started off right. Let's get started off on the right foot. And all continue along our journey to financial freedom. This is Shane signing out, wishing peace and prosperity to you and yours. And remember, financial security comes to those who take a vested interest. Hey, don't forget to drop a comment, subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for stopping by. See you soon.